what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be checking out Haminations. My brother almost died 18 times. Drop a like on the video and subscribe because 89% of you guys still aren't yet subscribed to the channel. And with all of that being said, let's jump right into it. Following the trend of yesterday's video, you guys absolutely loved it. So let's check this out. Another Haminations animation. Hey Brenner, if you jump off this cliff right now, I'll give you- <laughs> Buddy just throws himself off the cliff. Right into the water. Oh. Or death. Hi, I'm Bryson, and a while ago I made a video about the times I almost died and the times I got hurt really bad. Yes, you did. <clears throat> but that got me thinking about the other injuries in my family, and one sibling came to mind. Uh -oh. One who would dodge the grass Younger brother? more times than I can count. The sibling who had little to no regard for his own mortality and would regularly hurt himself. But he just the jumps off the building cannibal. Will. The youngest brother, Brenner. This is gonna be a long video because Brenner gets injured a lot. I don't want to cut out over. good stories or do a part two, so let's just sit down, relax, grab some popcorn, and laugh at my brother's pain. Grab some popcorn, now, man. Now, almost all of Brenner's injuries were self-inflicted. <laughs> However, I think it's only right we start the video with Brenner's very first injury, okay. the one he got from me. Brenner nice. had recently been born, and my parents invited me into their room to say hi to my new baby he slaps brother. him. As I said hello to him, he reached out his hand and scratched my chest. Now, oh, obviously, I Brenner slapped was him. just a baby. He had no control of his body and was just moving around. Uh, but my four-year-old brain could not let this slide. Puts him in a chokehold. dare you? First, you come into my house, take my spot as the cute youngest child, and take all the attention from my parents. Don't tell me he puts him in a chokehold. And now this? I offered you my hand in friendship, and you attacked me. You must pay recompense <laughs> for your actions. He's gonna punch hey, him. No, stop. Just calm down. Don't do it. My parents tried to stop Don't him, but it was do it. Late. Don't I punch your brother in the face. him back. He began to cry, and my nice. parents put me in timeout. Nice. Little did Brenner know, his pain had just begun. Okay, in all seriousness, I felt really bad for what I did. Even now, I still regularly apologize to Brenner about it. But he can't even remember. Yeah, he doesn't, he care. doesn't care. Brenner, my conscience has really been getting to me lately, and I'm so sorry about what I did. Dude, that was 17 years ago. Can you just move on? I forgive you, okay? Thank you. I love you, Brenner. I'm so glad I, I would have put him in a headlock. <laughs> throws him down the stairs. My brother Brody slammed the door in my fingers. Yeah. Apparently that experience runs in the family. Brody walked through a door as a young Brenner was sticking his fingers Closes in the it right on his Brody fingers. Slammed the door again. Brenner's wow. fingers bent every which way. Wow. It seemed like he did that on purpose though. Like it, it was an actual purposeful thing. There wasn't like an accident. Oh my bad. It was a purposeful thing. If I had a nickel for every time I slammed a sibling's fingers in the door, I'd have two nickels. That isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, he Brenner's liked fingers it. didn't he break, liked and it. the doctors fixed him up. Feel better soon, buddy, and don't get into any more trouble. I will make no such promises. <laughs> One time, me and Brenner were playing tag, and rather than be tagged by him down me, the hill. he jumped into a busy street, and a car oh. barely avoided him. Whew. I guess Brenner was Dodged more willing bullet. to die than lose at tag. That's fair. Would you rather die a terrible death or- Definitely death. Wait, you didn't hear the other option? Death. I Damn. genuinely don't know why he is so accident prone, but this next story was no accident. Okay. You know how sometimes your mom has a really good friend, so and she you go play with her kids. Hang out with her friends' yep. children, but you don't like them. Yep. Yeah. When I was was he drinking a fish, no a fish bowl with a fish you in it. You know how sometimes your mom has a really good friend, so she decides to make you hang out with her friends. Buddy friends. needs a snack. He actually needs a snack. Children, He's literally like drinking them. the fish yeah. out of the fishbowl. When bowl. I was younger, my mom sent me and Brenner to play with the neighbor kids, Jake and Steven. Okay. The main reason I didn't like Jake was because he said, Your sister is so hot. <laughs> Brittany was 18. Jake and I were eight. Have you considered shutting up? Anyways, I spent the day tolerating Jake's shenanigans, but yeah. eventually I hid from him on yeah, the front porch and pissed. watched Brenner and Steven play in the front yard. Come here, Brenner. I want to show you something. Uh oh. Brenner walked up to him. Steven grabbed his hand, reached into his pocket, and pulled out a pair of scissors and started cutting Brenner's fingers. Stop! I ran over to them to check on Brenner. His fingers were bleeding and he was crying. I slapped the scissors out of Steven. I'm gonna punch him in his face. Him by the arm and forced him inside to his mom. Hey, Steven just cut Brenner's fingers with scissors. Hmm? <sighs> oh, Steven. What? That's it? Bro. I was shocked. If that happened and I did that to a family friend's kid, man, my mom. I don't even. I, I don't right think I can now. even say that on YouTube. It would not have been good. We left and Brenner's fingers healed just fine. 
but still. But why didn't he? Why didn't the big brother? Why didn't the big brother step up and hit him with that one two? What what the f what, what's going on? From the mom was not okay. Luckily, I never had to go to that family's house again. Yeah, luckily. Reminds me of another time Brody was really young and another boy was punching him. My mom took the kid to his mom and told her that his son was hitting Nothing him, happened. And all she did was say, Oh, Soft hands, Hunter. I mean, come on. Soft hands? How about listen, punishing your kid listen, for hitting a stranger? Listen. You clearly um, don't know how to discipline children. Yep. Here, I'll show you how to Slap him. A lot of Bro, she didn't get arrested cuz <laughs> that would have him wanting to grow up fast and to keep That would have happened. Older brothers. For example, Ballin. My turn. <laughs> Bryson doesn't need Bro. to wheels on his bike, so neither do I. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Down a random flight of stairs. Let me try. Broken neck. Literally a broken neck. Yep, there you go. But one time, Brenner tried to set a That happened to me one time, man. I, I was jumping on a trampoline one time, and I did a front flip, and I got pushed off, and I hit that, you know, the metal ring that goes around? Bro. Follow. Not fun. The consequences were severe. This Not next fun. story is the real reason I made this video. Okay. I'm honestly still surprised that Brenner survived this. It was bad. In our basement, we had a tall exercise looks machine like a guillotine. that looked like this. <laughs> Brenner decided that he wanted to climb it and jump off it onto our beanbag for fun. Okay. However... This time it went horribly wrong. Why? Brenner pushed the beanbag close to the machine, climbed up, and jumped head first with the same regard for his life that a Minecraft player has when seeing one block of water Oof. at the bottom of a cliff. Part of the beanbag covered the exercise oh, bench, which extended and he, out, and he hiding jumped the onto metal it. part underneath. Brenner thought that since there was part of the beanbag there, it would, save it would him. be soft. Bro. But his head slammed through the beanbag into the metal part, and he split his forehead wide open. It's a good thing he didn't break his neck. <laughs> it's a good thing Mom he didn't break his Brittany neck. came running into Brenner crying with blood all over him. They freaked out and dashed him out of the house to take him to the hospital. I only caught a glimpse of him as they ran out, but I could tell it was bad. Damn. Brittany and Mom Straight murder scene, but you're telling me he didn't break his neck? He jumped clean on the top of his head, no broken neck. Later told Interesting. Me that they could see Brenner's skull through the gashes. Holy crap. My dad sent me to a friend's house so they could watch me while my parents took care of Brenner. I remember sitting on their stairs, terrified that I'd never see Brenner again. No, he's okay. God, please hear my prayer. If you make Brenner be okay, I promise I'll never be mean to him again. Lie. <laughs> gotcha. At the hospital, since Brenner was so accident prone, they kept pointing to cuts on his head that were from previous shenanigans. Yep. Is this cut old or new? Old. Is this cut old or new? Is this old? Dude, or the new? file is so file big. Is like this, the gaping gash on his forehead, that is new. Forget the rest of it. Fix that. Yeah, look at the file. Somehow dude. the doctors patched him up. I think they even had a plastic surgeon involved in fixing his head. <laughs> when I next saw Brenner, he was up on his feet with 25 stitches in his head. Wow. But he was okay. Phew! I thought you were gonna die, Brenner. Nope. I'm so glad you're okay. Lie. Punch him right anyway. in the face. <laughs> <laughs> bro. That. That is dirty, bro. That is dirty. Brenner still has a massive scar across his forehead. But thanks to the doctors, he was okay. Brenner, can you please calm down on the injuries? You're gonna die if you're not careful. It's not hard to die. I could do it like right now. <laughs> but like number two. Another time a young Brenner was using the bathroom and found a bottle uh -oh. of painkillers on the countertop. They were coated in a sugary glaze to make them go down easier. So Brenner took the pills one by one and sucked on them till they ran out of sugar, then spat them out. He did this over and over and over, and from sucking on the pills, he got sick and passed out. Perk 10, he just popped a perk 10. <laughs> Jesus. My mom discovered Brenner unconscious on the bathroom floor surrounded by pills. What? <laughs> and once again, the doctors proved why it's good to go to college. Yeah. N not for me, though. But as for you guys, good for you. I don't know how they saved him, honestly. I don't, I don't know really either. know how doctors work. For all I know, they could have removed all of Brenner's blood, which was tainted with drugs, thrown it away, then pumped him up with fresh blood. Possible. That makes sense. Another time, makes perfect he sense. swallowed a bunch of coins, and again, my parents rushed him to the hospital Bro. for his x-ray to show a pile of coins in his... One time, I put a marble, you know the little marbles? I put a marble up my nose, and I shoved it so far in my nose that I actually had to go to the hospital, and they had to, like, pump... They had to, like, put something in this nostril, go up, and push it down. 
his stomach. Crazy. He told my poor parents to dig through his ahem, oh. waist until they got all the coins. That's disgusting. He, like he has some good money, though. Way more it seems like he got some money back. <laughs> he was like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. <laughs> Honestly, with how often Brenner visited the hospital, I'm surprised they didn't have a special section of the hospital just for him. They should have. This next story is surprisingly the only time that Brenner has ever broken a bone. Okay. You would think at this point that he would have no bones left yeah. because of how often he gets hurt, but nope, he still has bones. He's fine. My family has a small motorcycle that we call Big Bertha. Okay. It's fun to ride around on, but it has no suspension. It is two wheels and a motor. That's it. Okay. One day, Brenner was driving it, and despite knowing that Big Bertha had no suspension, he decided Jumps to ride curb. it off a curb. The bike bounced, Brenner swerved and lost control, and he went head over handlebars. <laughs> he landed on his arm and totally snapped his wrist. Okay. One hospital trip later, Seems and pretty Brenner easy. had a cast. He's fine. He wanted his cast to be unique, so he asked me to paint it to look like Thanos' gauntlet. <laughs> so I got the paint That's out cool. and painted it as best I could to look like the gauntlet. That's pretty cool. It looked pretty cool in my opinion. But then later, Brenner's arm got itchy. The doctors told him that his arm would be itchy at first, but then yeah, you he can't itch it, it. the itchiness would go away. They also specifically told him to leave the cast alone and to not shove anything into the cast yep. to try and scratch his itch. However, the itch got the better of Brenner. So without consulting anyone, Did he cut it he off? Brad brought his glasses and started shoving the oh, long end into no. his cast it's gonna start bleeding. to scratch his itch. He pulled the glasses out only to realize that the little rubber covering had slipped off and it was now stuck in the Oh cast. no. Determined to scratch his itch and recover the rubber cover, Brenner somehow removed all of the soft wrappings underneath the cast, the, leaving only the hard the outer shell. shell. Brenner had scratched his itch and was satisfied. Then mom walked in and saw what Brenner yep. had done. Yep. She lost it. <laughs> That's what happens, man. That's what happens. That is what happens. That's how parents get their parent on. Sometimes that's how it's gotta be. To the hospital and explain the situation. Can you imagine being a doctor and setting someone up with a nice cast to help them heal, and the next thing you know they, they peeled it all it? off? Yep. I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for for ten minutes? <laughs> they had to cut off his Thanos cast and make Put another a new one, one on. for him. Brenner got home and asked me to paint his new cast. <laughs> No, I spent a lot of time painting that last one, and you ruined it. The last one was cool. I know you won't ruin it again. Come on, man, just paint it again. Why? Why should I be penalized because of your sloppiness? <laughs> so Brenner went around wearing a lame blue cast rather than a cool Thanos cast. A few months so later, happens. the doctors took off the cast, and they realized that Brenner's arm had healed crooked. It was literally like a 15-degree angle. My mom pointed this out, and the doctor said, Bro, yeah, what? well, it's within the range of crookedness no, it's not. to be acceptable, so we're just going to leave it like that. <laughs> what? That's easy for you to say. Yeah, that's You're insane. the one who has to live with a crooked arm. Fix his arm and do it right this time. Another so the cast. explained that in order to fix it, they would have to re-break oh. his arm, <laughs> angle it correctly, and recast it. Do it. Oh, Wait, no. What? This Hold is going to hurt. Down. Wait, no. So they did that, and Brenner's arm eventually healed correctly, but not without pain. That sounds now, you horrible. Would think that after breaking his arm he's going right back on the motorbike. I already know he's going right back on the motorbike. Nope. Let me tell you one last story. One day, me and Brenner got bored and decided to go for a ride. Okay. Him on Big Bertha and me on my go-kart. We chased each other around a parking lot, but then I thought, how can I make racing around more interesting? I'm going to hit him. And my mind went to my favorite racing game. Mario Kart. Oh no, you know, are you gonna throw a banana you peel or something? Enemies by throwing items at them? Bro, if he so throws a I banana peel. To drive by Brenner and throw my flip flops at him. Okay. We went back and forth throwing flip flops at each other like green shots. Someone's gonna something. crash. Then I zoomed by and got a good flip flop strike on Brenner, and he wanted to retaliate with yep. something stronger. No way. He grabbed a big tree branch and drove towards me. He swung the branch and I swerved out of the way. But the branch was so heavy it that swinging him. it threw Brenner off balance. He swerved and flew over the handlebars once more. Again? Freaking again? Brenner was scraped and bruised, but he was okay. Nothing broke. Okay, and perfect. He finally learned his lesson. Stop he driving Big drive Bertha. Big Bertha yeah. But I do. <laughs> there you go. 12 car pile up. Literally. Here we are at the end of the video, and yet, Literally. that's not even all of Brunner's injuries. But if I keep talking about them, this video is going to be 30 minutes long, and at that time, he'll probably injure himself again. Yep. Let's quickly get through some last stories. Lightning round. 
We visited a janky aquarium that let you Did jump in? sharks and a bamboo shark bit Brenner's finger. Brenner went to a trampoline park, heard his neck. The stupid trick and landed on his head and had to wear a neck brace yep. for a few. There you go. Brenner and Brody went kayaking. Brody tried to splash Brenner with the paddle, but it skipped off the water, slammed into Brenner's face and cracked his front teeth. Nice. My car almost backed over him as a child, but he hung onto the bumper while being dragged and my sister stopped the car to save him. Jesus. His friend accidentally shot, shot him. him in the forehead with a BB gun and his forehead still has a dent. In conclusion, Brenner's Bro. guardian angel is built different because she is saying this Brenner kid is insane and as much as i make fun of him i am grateful for that as he has grown i think he has gotten a little less accident prone let's hope it keeps going this kid is nuts because i'm pretty sure he has used up all of his nine he's lives. immortal god has sent his soul back to the living world so many times at this point that if brenner shows up there again god might just say oh forget it and keep him <laughs> well hey it could be worse at least his soul is going to heaven well, that's because you farted in his face. That was actually extremely fun to watch. Hopefully, you guys did go and enjoy today's video. And if you did, don't forget to smack a like on it. That'd be greatly appreciated. Comment down below what else you guys want to see on the channel. And also, don't forget to check out Hammond Nations. Their link will be down in the description. Amazing videos, amazing animations, and I had a ton of fun. But as I said, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more. And with all of that being said, my name is Chris. And of course, I will catch you guys in the next one.